many times in this last year, last 12 months, 14 month time period, have I done videos on homeschooling talking about all of the news media articles and all of the public officials telling everyone loud and clear that we need to regulate homeschooling. Why? Because during the whole pandemic, millions of people pulled their kids out of the schools because they, for the first time, saw the curriculum that their kids were being taught. They saw for the first time how low the bar was set. And they were like, I don't want my kids in these cesspools anymore. No, we got to get out of here. And so they started homeschooling. And since that time, the Department of Education, the people at the very top of this symbol of power in this country when it comes to teaching the next generation, they have been in sheer panic mode to get kids back in the schools and to get this homeschooling thing under control. I have shown you example after example after example in the media of them just saying it right out loud. We've got to get this thing under control. And so now we have this thing in, in Missouri, in the Ozarks. Now, I don't live in Missouri. I made a video the other day in the car telling you people, hey, you better take action on this. But I was born and raised in Missouri, and I don't want this stuff coming to my state. And other people in other states are watching this battle closely. And they're like, in pan they should be in panic mode. They're like, we don't want this here. We got to stop this right now. And so... People are saying, hey, call your state reps, call your state senators, and tell them to amend or kill this bill. And there was a number of people out there who were like, oh, well, this is no big deal. Our lawyers have, look, have looked at this, and they don't think this is all that much to worry about. You know, there's not really any danger here. Well, that was initially... Because there was a time where people just basically blew up the Capitol phones and were like, hey, we got to do something about this now. And all, all the reps were like, what's going on here? Well, it's no big deal. But then finally, people started to look at it. And so there's been a few changes. Interestingly enough, the HSLDA came out and were like, oh, well, there's nothing. Here's a big nothing burger. We don't need to worry about this. And then they changed their minds. Why? Because they actually read the bill. And they began to sit down and comprehensively with some critical thinking skills and a knowledge of recent history in the courts said, you know what? This actually does leave the door open for these idiots to get their foot in. Here's the statement they made. Put out just yesterday by the Families for Home Education, the FHE and HSLDA have changed their neutral positions on SB 727 to oppose the FHE and the HSLDA, through our intensive research, meaning they actually read the bill, have concluded there must be language in SB 727 to address the homeschool gun concerns. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Why is an education system, an education organization, talking about guns? It seems to me they're straying a bit out of their lane. Even though we have a solid gun rights law, we have solid gun rights laws, there are courts in Missouri that do not stick to the strict scrutiny of the law. Huh? Imagine that. <laughs> Someone sat down and read the bill and were like, you know what? This is not good. We, we need to change this. Not to mention they probably had everyone blowing up their phones going, what do you mean this is a nothing burger? Are you paying attention? Now, all that to say, that was them. They changed their mind. Congrats on that. I was really disappointed in them. They did the right thing. Fantastic. Now, ARFCOM, AR15.com, which could arguably be the largest gun forum website in these United States. I, without a doubt, they are. They have a YouTube channel, ARFCOM. You can look it up, AR15.com, on YouTube. They put out a video the other day saying, hey, call your state reps, call your state senators, tell them to amend 727. This is dangerous. So we have homeschool groups and gun groups straving into, coming into the same lane. Imagine that, working together. And yet, the Missouri Firearms Coalition refuses to get involved. I have had a number of you people contact me and say, hey, listen, we're really disappointed in these people. Why are they not getting involved? I have absolutely no clue. Well, I do have some theories. My theories 
are because they have friends in Jeff City because that's where they live. And they have a working relationship. Some of these Republicans, rhinos, and they're saying, you know what? If we come out and oppose this bill, we might make some of our friends that we have to work with and, you know, play with on a daily basis angry. And we don't want to rock the boat. What good are you then? Are you going to actually fight for the people who pay your, their membership dues and send donations into your organization? They refuse to change their position on this. I don't know why. Perhaps there are a bunch of great guys over at the Missouri Firearms Coalition. I don't know what they're a coalition of or who's re who the, all they're representing in Missouri. I don't live in that state. Again, I live somewhere else now. But apparently, they don't want to get involved. But yet, we see ARFCOM stray, straying into that education lane. And we see the educators, HSLDA, straying into the gun lane working together, but somehow that's just too difficult for other people to do. That doesn't make sense. Listen, the, the, the cat's out of the bag. There's big money coming into Missouri trying to get this passed. Why? Well, let's go back to the beginning of my video. I'll tell you why. Because the people out there who are involved with the Department of Education on the federal level and some of even on the state level have said, we've got to get this homeschooling phenomena under control. And we're going to open up little cracks and doorways so that one day we can come in with a bunch of high paid lawyers and accuse some homeschooling family of doing something nefarious that's against the public good. And we can shut them down and establish case law. And because they're just a regular homeschool family, they're not going to be able to legally defend themselves adequately because they're probably not rich. And then that's going to set precedent for others down the road. Guys, this is a line in the sand. I am a homeschool dad. And what's interest, interestingly enough, the guy who runs Missouri Firearms Coalition is also a homeschool dad. Do you realize that probably 90%-ish of homeschoolers are also gun owners? That's why you see ARFCOM, HSLDA, and others getting into not just their lane. That They see the danger. Our republic is under extreme attack right now. And they're trying to maintain their control that they have had for all these years. All right, we'll see what happens with this. Here's what I if, I, if you live in Missouri, you need to call your state rep and your state senator and you tell them, hell's bells, you had better amend or cancel, kill this bill. You've got to do it. This is going to open up doors that are bad. And now we have different organizations, ARFCOM.com being the largest gun forum in the United States and HSLDA, which is probably the largest advocate for homeschoolers coming out, getting on the same page and saying, stop this. Call these senators, call these representatives, politely asking them, kill this bill. If you do not, if you fail to hear the people on this, we will make sure we fail to come and vote for you next primary season. We will remember this because this is about our kids. We want to homeschool our kids because the public school system, the government education system is a cesspool. And I want my children to succeed. I loved listening to Rush Limbaugh. I, lived, I listened to him since the very time I was, since I was in high school. And one of the things he always said if you just put a, there's so little emphasis put on children's education these days that if a parent just takes a little bit of effort on the emphasis of ed, ed, on educating their child, they're going to put that child so far up higher than the majority of people in this country that their success is almost guaranteed. That's what's at stake here. We've got to act. Gun owners are in danger. Homeschoolers are in danger. But what do you think? Leave a comment below. Are you, are you call, call every day, call every day, email every day, just have, it, have that email saved and then copy that representative, that senator. Is this bill amended yet? Is this bill, will you vote to amend or kill this bill? I need an answer and I want something yes or no so that I can move on with my life. <laughs> Other states are watching this show, guys. And from both sides, they're like, ooh, can, 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 we get our, can we get our foot in the door? That's what some people are saying on the left or the rhinos on the left. 
And there are people on the right. Oh, we got to stop this because if we don't stop this, it could tidal wave into our state. That's what's happening right now. Everyone's watching the show. Leave a comment. Want to know what you think on what you think on this stuff? Um, crazy times we're living in. Hey, check out our uh, stuff over at Patreon.com. Uh, I've got a butchering video over there. It's heavily hit. A lot of people. One of the things we people ask us about the most is butchering, and I'm gonna do a video on this book here coming up soon for the patrons. Probably the best butchering book you can get uh, when it comes to butchering. There's nothing that beats hands-on experience. All animals, for the most part, besides chickens, come apart the same way. And so I highly recommend, if you're interested in butchering um, and, and you want just a kind of an overview of how this all happens, I've got some great videos over at patreon.com slash in American Homestead. You can go to my website in AmericanHomestead.com and get the patron uh, link in the menu up there and find the butchering video on that patron page on my website. It'll take you right over to Patreon. Also, don't forget this here. This is my medicine cabinet. These PDFs were written about 100 years ago by this guy, Dr. A.B. Howard. Um, great stuff in here. I talked about how a lot of the things that were in here used to be offered in the Sears Roebuck catalog over 100 years ago. But ah, pharmaceuticals have taken all of those away. Well, if you would like this, for just getting in as a dollar a month as a patron, I will give you these PDFs. If you bought these PDFs on Amazon, you would pay $800 for one and $900 for the other. The reason why is because of the valuable information contained within. This is my medicine cabinet. And with the crazy world we live in today, it might be good to have some of this stuff on hand. This does not tell you how to make tinctures. There are plenty of videos out there for that. This tells you what to do with them once you have them and why. All right, guys. See you next time at the Homestead. Bye. Have you ever gone to a health food store and seen all those small bottles of probiotics in your cooler section? Man, can they be pricey. Are you really getting all you need to improve your gut health from those expensive bottles? How viable are they? Most of those products claim to give you between 8 and 15 strains of gut-healthy healing bacteria. Think of each strain of bacteria as a different factory in your gut. Each factory is responsible for breaking down that food in its own way. The more factories you have, the more the food is broken down and the easier the food is absorbed and digested by the body. A 2018 study published by the National Library of Medicine shows that one fermented head of cabbage can produce up to 114 strains of beneficial bacteria. That's a lot more food factories than you're getting from that expensive pill bottle. And that's just cabbage. Imagine the probiotics when you add garlic, onions, pepper, and more to that ferment. PerfectPickler.com and its home fermentation kits provide you with everything you need to get started making your own gut-healthy food factories from the comfort of your own kitchen. PerfectPickler.com even provides a jam-packed recipe book with many of our kits. Visit PerfectPickler.com and start fermenting your own veggies to begin your journey to better gut health. That's PerfectPickler.com. Hey guys, did you know you can become a patron of an American homestead? They get access to private videos and we send them gifts from the homestead that we make here on the homestead. And we also enter our patrons into special giveaways that are only available to them. And before you go, please check out these other great videos. Go ahead, click. Oh wait. <laughs>